She's in Beijing. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who's making a difference in Africa. And my message to all the women that are watching tonight. Yeah, women, yes, we, make, we will make a change if we can work together as a team and make Africa a better place. Thank you. First and foremost, I'd like to give all the thanks to God Almighty for giving me the ability to be able to contribute positively to my field. Secondly, I would like to thank the Appreciate Africa Network, specifically Dr. Samantha and her team, for putting this awesome event together. God bless you, Dr. Samantha. Amen. And then, I'd like to specially thank my nominators and as well my institution here in China, that is the Chinese Academy of Sciences, that has given me the platform to develop, to progress my career. Um, very well, good. Um very, very happy to be here. This is a very beautiful moment of my life and I just want to thank Dr. Samantha for what she's doing for us, for the youth of Africa. She's a very, very great inspiration for us. And um, I, I also thank all my friends my Afro queens and my Afro kings, my family, my mom, my brothers, my sisters, and everyone who ever supported me. 
and um, I always encourage women, no matter what you do, try to also build a business, small or any idea you have. I love seeing women um, growing, doing great things like Dr. Samantha. Thank you. Great, that women are amazing. Diplomat in Guangzhou, dear leader of uh, different uh, community, dear CEO of different company, lady and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I have to begin with some notes of thanks. First of all, I have to thank and appreciate African Network, most especially Dr. Sunny, for organizing this event. It's really an epoch-making event. Thank you so much, Dr. Sunny. Also, I have to thank the Chinese authority for giving us this eleven environment to do this. I'm happy, I'm excited, and I'm, I'm honored you know, to be recognized as one of the prides of Africa. So we share the same, you know, we share this the thanks, this happiness together. So thank you all. And this wonderful award, I will dedicate it to all Nigerians in China. I thank them so much for nominating me and also for putting me here. Thank you so much. Yes. I thank them. Yes. I thank you. I thank them so much. You know, may God continue to bless their struggle. May God continue to bless their hard work all Nigerians in China. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I did. <laughs> um, here it goes. Wow. Literally wow. Um, what a privilege it is to be here this evening. Let alone um, to be here holding this glass. Wow. And I think this glass in the shape of the African continent is quite significant the symbolism of this glass. Glass is something that we can see through. When people look at Africa, which is represented by each of us in this room, what do they see through us? As we bear our talents, our purposes, our callings, if I may, unto the world, we also bear our Africanness. I hope through us that they can see the true essence of Africa beyond the bronze and the gold. I hope that we can give an impeccable 
glass view of our continent and I hope it causes the spheres that we impact to reflect and progress forward. In the heavens now, for raising impeccable human beings, I am the fruit of her perpetual love and resilience and prayers. I'd also like to thank my siblings for giving me a reason to never give up and for always believing in literally all of my crazy ideas. I'm thankful for every encounter that has birthed this moment and, I, and there are truly so many wonderful, wonderful human beings without whom I would not be here today. Thank you. Thank you to Appreciate Africa Network. Thank you so much, Queen, Dr. Samantha Sibanda. I leave you all with this, my favorite, or amongst my favorite African proverbs. Until the lion tells the story, the hunter will always be the hero. Let us tell our stories.